So begin from this point. Very brief, quick, quick, mm -hmm. and you are good at that. For example, I'm not, I'm not making a big deal out of it. They mentioned Kwame Akufu. Mm -hmm. At the material time, they mentioned Kwame Akufu. They say they have come to correct it, that he doesn't work at the presidency, mm -hmm. but he was appointed to a board. Mm -hmm. At the material time, they mentioned him. He was not an appointee. Mm -hmm. He doesn't work. He's, he doesn't belong to any board. Mm -hmm. Okay? Should they do more than correction and apologize <coughs> to him because they said this wrongly? I don't think that they got this wrong. I mean, they got it very wrong. I don't think the apology will even be necessary or appreciated. They should just stop this whole thing. I really think that Goku thinks that it's um, election time, so this is propaganda, and mm. uh, maybe that's what they are doing. I don't even think this is valuable propaganda. It's Honest. not valuable propaganda. No, 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 that's no, why no, I say no, it's no, propaganda no. masturbation. <laughs> you know, yes. I, 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 I sincerely <laughs> believe. Ask the average NDC person. Ask the average Ghanaian. Okay. So, so, so in terms of even propaganda, so, so, I doubt it's valuable. So, so let me so, just. So they mentioned they mentioned Gabby's wife too, for example, mm -hmm. Nadra, and I brought in the question of the fact that she may be even you know more senior than the person they say uh, should have been uh, should have been appointed. Right. And I asked the question: the person you say should have been appointed can also be said to be the, a friend to the president mm -hmm. by virtue of their work in the party. Um, Yes, it may be the case. Nanadra, beyond that, has uh, studied oil and gas in Dundee. Mm. So you will say that, look, it's fit. She's fit into where she's appointed. But there are many Ghanaians who have gone to study in Dundee also and have, you know, oil and gas, you know, background and so on. So are they not correct to say, leave the people who are closer to you and go out for those who are not. They're absolutely wrong. And that's not the way to do this kind of argument. You don't say that this person is qualified, other people are qualified, so don't put this person there. That argument will eliminate everybody. All right. And honestly, um, look, let me do my submission on this thing. The point is this. If we start talking about the individuals and start doing the analysis, we'll be in the weeds and we'll not get anything out of it. And I don't know how much time I have, but let me start from the conclusion. No objective check, no objective check. Look across the staffing appointments. No objective analysis of this matter will show that President Nanado is nepotistic. None. If you take even 4,000 as appointees and there is the 50, that's like 1% or something like that. So I, I'm saying I'm concluding. I'm giving you a figure you can really work with. That's 6,000. So that makes it less than 1%. Yeah. So I'm saying no objective check or analysis will show that this government or the president is nepotistic. Absolutely none. And I don't think it even has propaganda value. Let me start from the conclusion. See, I think NDC should elevate the discourse. I think, and I don't think they take my advice, but they should use their time better because this has no value anywhere. You can't prove it. You can't even cause any kind of movement in this kind of direction. So I doubt the value, but it's up to them. I also think that for, you know, the politics of this country in general, it's too base, okay? And it even waits into, you know, dangerous territory when you start bringing the tribalism inside. But it's too base. It doesn't help anybody or anything. Look, we lawyers understand people in serious civil society groups, some don't think the way you are, you are, you are treating this matter because they ask us that we should not forget that in a society such as ours, public office and public contracts allow the beneficiaries significant and privileged access to wealth-creating opportunities. Mm -hmm. Nepotism is therefore also likely to result in a concentration of economic opportunity within a family through the use of state power. It exacerbates inequality and generates unnecessary resentment and feelings of exclusion and unfair discrimination. And uh, that, more importantly, oh, enlightened leaders should not go that path. All that is true. Okay. But it does not mean this is what is happening, one. Number two, the fact that somebody's positioning allows them to do something does not mean they have done it. Kwame Nkrumah ruled this country with an iron fist for how long? We can't point one house he had. He had every opportunity. He didn't take it. And again, I beg you, see... 
This thing you're calling nepotism, eh, it is a valid issue, but it is one of the most amorphous concepts in the world. Really? Yes, it's extremely amorphous. Who is a brother? The Bible says there's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. So mm-hmm. if, if you say this person is my brother, whatever, look, at the end of the day, and I say I don't have time to do the analysis, but I, have, I will do the analysis, it comes down, one, to whether the person is qualified for the job, and that is not even the most important issue. The most important issue is whether they are delivering on the job. There's another aspect to it. The other aspect to it is that whether they are using that position for something that is wrong. Three things. Is the person qualified? And in political appointments, that is not a big issue. Two, are they delivering? Are they competent? Are they doing the work? No, but we must ask the first I'm question calling. first, not rather yeah. the person is qualified. So I'm giving you everything, so, but so, I don't have so, the time. So, no, 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 no. Okay. That person you were asking whether is qualified, mm-hmm. was some other person equally qualified giving the opportunity of a competition? That's why there are three. You can be qualified but inept. You can be qualified but incapable of delivering. Are they qualified? That takes the box. Two, are they delivering? If they are not delivering, their qualification means nothing. And then more importantly, somebody can be delivering on their job, but it can be extremely corrupt. So delivering, especially in public office, is not enough. If you are delivering but you are corrupt, you should be gotten rid of. So these three things must come to mind, all right? And because nepotism is an amorphous concept, you have to be careful when you are dealing with it. Now, if but, you look... But in a public office, where you are handpicking these people for a mm. public office that is funded by my tax... Yes. Everybody else should have the opportunity, who is equally qualified, mm-hmm. should have the opportunity to compete. It's a, so if there are contracts, they should have the opportunity to bid. No, it's not true. You see, we have all this emotional fear. Everybody should have the opportunity to compete. The Constitution gave the president the power to appoint. If we want people to compete, we advertise that they'll come and compete. The Constitution is an executive constitution. It was written in a way as to give the chief executive of this country no excuse for no failure. So he has to appoint. That removes competition. And if he has to appoint, he has to account for their stewardship at the end of the day, what they do. And there is no problem, per se, with appointing even his relatives. Ole knew in his uh, judgment, I've forgotten the case, but many lawyers know it. When a judge was asked to recuse himself because there was a relationship with uh, somebody, Mm -hmm. he said that in this country, the country is so small that if everybody has to recuse themselves because they are simply related to somebody, and we cannot believe that people can do their jobs despite this relationship. We will not have anybody to do That's anything in, in this Salah. country. In Salah, yes. yes. Yeah. You understand? And I could go on and on. So I'm making the point. I'm saying, look, there is law. Law binds you to do something. Sami has asked for law and nepotism. You are saying, I, I you are, you are saying and suggesting to me that a president who is funded by my tax, mm-hmm. an appointing authority who is funded by my tax money, mm-hmm should limit his reach and horizon in looking for qualified candidates simply because he, he knows people around him. No, I didn't when say that. in fact, he should be expanding no. He shouldn't limit. I rather say that he should not have no limits to even people who are competent. The Constitution gives him the power to appoint. And that appointment is not limited to anything. And the nature of our constitution is said that is an executive constitution. I have argued, I, I had a debate against HKP. We took time and intellectually dissected the matter. HKP won. I felt that, look, this constitution is not a winner uh, takes all. And I give my reasons because I'm saying that, look, the president can appoint Sami. And I think it's a good thing. Because whatever happens there, he can't give an excuse. But many people have said that these appointment powers are too wide. If we want to change it, let's go and change that. But in terms of law, in terms of what the president is has it done, just that he we are not following the constitution and sometimes want to blame the constitution somewhat. No, that's what where, you were. Where you are supposed to appoint and the power you exercise ought to be exercised in a fair, candid, reasonable manner. Is it fair? Is it candid? Is, uh-huh. is it reasonable? Is it not arbitrarily when you limit your reach? Because I have a family friend. I've said again. I have some friends who are more It's rather qualified. that the president has not limited his reach. And the point is, that's why they are the three things. Is the person competent? So Sami mentions people like Kelly mm. and says that they are sitting on the board. I doubt if there are more than 10 people in this country more qualified than Kelly Gajipo to sit where he's sitting. But at the end of the day, it is about what he does and his output and whether he's corrupt or not. Mm. So look, when we look at these things, we can easily stretch into the weeds. By law, nothing has been done wrong. And then you have ethics. 
okay, which can bind people. The political parties can choose that these ethics and whatever. And, and even ethics, I'm not subject to the ethics of the you know accountants in this country. I'm subject to the ethics of lawyers. It doesn't bind you. And then you have morality. Morality is where they are all appealing. That the president must exercise his moral whatever not to appoint his board. And I can't see it in terms of quantum, in terms of performance. I don't okay. see anybody. So so who so on the on the global, you know, and a bit more of specific picture. Mm -hmm. You know, your friend, good friend, H. Chrissy Prempe looks at it this way. Mm -hmm. So I want you to, your answer to this question. He says, assuming that these people you are talking about are even the best qualified, mm -hmm. would it be okay if there were enough people in one family, one family or, one family or two to fail, say all the positions in cabinet, for a president to select all his cabinet ministers from that mm -hmm. family? Would it be okay if a presidential There's candidate no chose his <laughs> relatives, I'm asking a mm -hmm. question, mm -hmm. chose his relative as his vice president mm -hmm. in a diverse democratic society, it's important for gov government to be representative of the diversity in the society they govern. Nepotism reinforces tribalism. Because relatives are likely to belong to the same tribe. It will not be okay. But if you have a certain set of circumstances which makes that imperative, then you have to revert to the rules, the competence and corporate. Look, this country's big six, okay? Do you know how they became big six? They were just arrested by the colonial government. They just went and picked up some people. They were not picking up relatives. Hmm. But when they picked them up, locked them up, they came up and they got that branding. Today they are on your money. Three of those people come from one house. Things happen which make it inevitable or very probable that a certain situation will arise. Now, if somebody had picked the big six, they'll say that is nepotism. So my point is, look, at the end of the day, it is an amorphous subject. And I wish I had time to explain to you why it's amorphous. But let me tell you something. All energy comes from emotion. If you have critical exercise to, uh, to, to, to deal with, okay, sometimes the best thing to do is to find somebody who is not just competent, but has an emotional attachment to the success of the issue. That is why on your CV, there are references. The reference is that if you go and do something, this person's name is on the line. So we can go on and on and on. <coughs> there is reason. Look, if you take the biggest democracy in this world, I mean, in terms of the loudest, look at America. Okay, you have the Kennedys. Okay, you have the Bush family. George Bush was president. His son was president. His other son almost became president, but for the phenomenon of uh, Donald Trump. But he was a governor. Take the Clinton family. Only three people, husband, wife, and child. Husband was president. The wife won the popular vote and almost became president, but for the Electoral College. As we speak, the daughter is being pushed to go and stand for a position. She's saying no. What I'm saying is that if you just leave things be, it is possible that three members of the family will all end up in politics. So the point is this. Let's just stop this plenty talking and understand that, one, there is no objective way to prove that this president is nepotistic. You can believe it, but it is not true. And honestly, we spend way too much time. There are okay. many things we need right. to deal with Thank in this you. country.